The following video covers how to output files to the LEF12 via Roland Verseworks. Prior to viewing this video, please refer to the following videos or documents. The LEF12 material setup video and the Verseworks white and gloss ink guide. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch Roland VersaWorks for the LEF12. Once you have Roland VersaWorks launched, uh, what we want to do first is go to the Edit and Preferences. And in the Preferences, uh, we can change our units to inches if you're um, more comfortable working with inches or millimeters. For the Preview, uh, you can set that to any preview quality that you like. Um, we're going to go ahead and select high quality and click OK. We're now going to add our print jobs to the print queue. So we can do that one of two ways. We can either drag and drop the jobs uh, to the queue or we can go to file, add job to QA and we'll navigate to where the files are located. and we'll go ahead and drop those in. Once they're in the queue, we can adjust our windows here just by simply clicking and dragging. It'll show us the file that was built uh, using uh, Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. Um, and in the file, uh, once you've specified your CMYK, your white, and your gloss layers, uh, as well as your textures if you're using Illustrator. You can save those as PDFs or EPSs and bring those into Verseworks. So the first job here is going to be based on the acrylic sample from the LEF setup video. And with the acrylic piece we can double click on the job and it'll bring up our job properties. Now once we've set up the machine we can actually click on Get Media With to capture the media size from the machine, which was 3 by 4. For the scaling, uh, we could do Fit to Media, uh, or if we build our file to a specific size and PDF it, we could leave it that way. And I want to go ahead and center this on my media. Now, because we are printing on acrylic, I want to go ahead and mirror my image. I want to do reverse printing. Now, with reverse printing, we have to lay down our CMYK first, followed by a flood of white to give us the opacity. So when we go to quality, under media type, we have three different modes. We have generic, which allows us to select CMYK, CMYK plus white, white plus CMYK, or just white. For this application, we're going to lay down CMYK plus white. For the print quality, we have standard mode and distance mode. Standard mode, you will typically use for items that are flat stock printing only. There's no curves or no dips um, or valleys that we need to print into. So this is going to use standard small dot size 1440 by 720. For distance mode it's actually going to lay down a slightly larger dot as well as slow down our uh, feed rate uh, for the carriage in order to allow the drop to fall down touch off on the material and stick. Um, distance mode you would use for items that have a slight curve on it such as an iPad cover, uh, golf ball, um, or anything like that that's got little dips and valleys. So we're going to go at standard mode. For the details we can leave those with the defaults. We really don't need to do much with these. Color adjustment we can actually go in and adjust the colors if we want. For the file format, really don't need to mess with that. 
if we're going to cut this down from stock, uh, if we're printing on film or something like that, we can put crop marks on there. Under the printer controls, we can actually set overprinting. So if I wanted the white to be more opaque, for instance, I can set an overprint. The LEF is a print only device. So all of the options under cutting options are grayed out. Under the clip and tile, this is where we can go in and trim down our image if there's items that we don't need. And if we're doing multiples, we can actually support variable data. Okay, so our job is ready to go. We can simply click OK. We can then right click on the job and we can click on rip if we want to just simply rip it or we can click on print and when we click on print it will rip and print um, pretty much simultaneously. So we'll go ahead and click print. And at this point the machine will initialize and begin the print job. At this point, we're going to set up our second file. Uh, this particular file is based off the setup video where we set up the round cork object. So we'll go ahead and open up the file. And once we have the machine set up, we can click on Get Media With. This will pull the machine for the size that we set up. For the material itself, as we can see here, the image is actually smaller than the material, so we can actually do fit to media size, and we want to center it on the media. Now for print quality, uh, because the material itself is brown, and I'm printing this kind of maroon color and light tan, uh, in order for that to show up nicely, on the LAF, I need to lay down white first. So if I have generic selected for the print mode, I want to lay down white first, uh, then followed by CMYK. Once I select that, for the print quality, we want standard mode since the material is flat and not curved. Again, color adjustment, file format, marks, printer controls, clip and tile, and variable data we really do not need to worry about for this particular job. Again, if I'm adding in multiple names or multiple items in here, um, that's where variable data comes into play. Um, so at this point, we select quality mode. We have our file set up, ready to go. Over here in the left-hand corner of Reversal Work screen, it shows the status of the machine, which is ready to print. We'll go ahead and click OK. 
our job is resized and ready to go, we can simply right click on the job, click print, and the machine will perform the rip and the print simultaneously as you can see here. For additional training and support videos, please visit www.rolanddga.com.